Hello. Today we are making our gnome towel holder. And so this is our March crochet project it is a springtime gnome towel holder and you can actually put it over your stove. You can put it over a doorknob, anything to hang and have your towel. And you can make this in a variety. You can make him for all seasons. And so we're gonna start piecing him together a little bit. I've already got the hat started here. The hat is worked in continuous rounds. So you do not join at the end of a round, you just keep going. And we are doing single crochets. I am at row 22 right this second. Um, so if you got the pattern from us, you're working in an additional single crochet every row up. So what that means is the first one of the round, you're doing two single crochets into one stitch and increase. And row 22 has 26 single crochets. So there's two in that one stitch three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. So when you make it to the end of the round, you're just gonna keep going. So our next round, Round 23 is where we are adding in our ring. And you can use a wooden ring to hold your towel in. I will show you on this one that if you turn him inside out, we've got the ring inside so that you can put your towel. So this way your towel is washable. You can change out your towel if it becomes dirty without having to take your entire um, gnome down to um, wash it. I'm using a Dollar Tree shower curtain ring. Um, it works just as well. So with this round, what we were going to do is we're gonna do two single crochets in the first stitch, and then we're gonna single crochet in the next 20. And on our last five, we're gonna single crochet over our ring. So with this pattern, there is a lot of counting. So we're gonna do two in here. There's one and two. Then we're gonna do 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, my yarn untangled here, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, and 20. So with our last five stitches, what we're gonna do is put our ring here. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna come through our ring and then we're gonna pull up through it and do our single crochet, pulling through one, go into the next stitch and through the ring and pull up and that's two. The next one, making sure you go through the ring, pulling up three, four, and five. So now you have went around your ring and your ring is gonna be on the inside. So you went around your ring and you got five stitches there. So our next round, is gonna be two single crochet in the first stitch. Then we're gonna single crochet in the next 21. And then our last five are gonna be over this ring again. So I'll show you when we get there. So we're gonna do one, two, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And 21. Looks like I was behind a stitch. So I caught myself back up to where this ring is. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to come in. Instead of coming in where we would normally, we're going to come in and catch the ring below. So we're going to come in below that single crochet, pull it up and come over. We're gonna come below that one, come up and pull it over. So where you see your single crochet was before, we're going back into that same hole in the below, pulling it all the way up and coming over. We're doing what's called a special stitch um, or a spike stitch. We're bringing it up and it's just to secure that ring in there and make sure it's not gonna move. And you're gonna do that over the stitches from the previous row. And so it's gonna look like that. And then you're gonna continue on. Rounds 25 through 38 are gonna require a lot of, sorry about the camera move, um, of counting. Each round you are adding one. So this round we had 28, so we're gonna have 29 stitches on row 25, um, 26 stitches on row 30. So I kind of made myself a little cheat sheet over here. Um, I'm gonna work through the first couple of rounds with you on video, and I'm gonna bring you back when we reach round 38. So we're just going into that next stitch and doing two single crochets. And then working the rest of the round. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. And on this round, when we make it to those last stitches, we're working in the normal top of the stitches that we put the ring in with. Okay, so just like normal. So we'll do one more round together, starting out with two single crochets. One, two. Whoop. Lose my comb. Then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. All right. So we're just gonna keep working that. And I'm gonna keep going around and around. Um, so, so far we've got that and we've got our ring in the center. Um, so I'm gonna pause the video and then I'm gonna come back with you at the end of row 38 and we'll proceed on to the trim um, and then uh, the loop and the nose and, and the finishing touches. I just made it to the top of row 38. So now with row 39, what we're gonna do is join with our trim color. Our trim color for this one is white. So I'm gonna cut off my main color here. I'm gonna join up with my trim color. And now we're gonna to switch to working on the wrong side of the hat. So I'm gonna flip this around to where I'm working on the wrong side. So that means the inside of the hat is facing me and the outside of the hat is um, facing away from me. So what we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna chain three, one, two, three. We're gonna do a double crochet in this same stitch. So yarn over, go through loop, pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. 
And then we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch, which is just pull through and pull through both. So that's all we do in the first. And then we're going to bobble in the next and bobble all the way around. So what a bobble is, is it's in your special stitches on this pattern. So in the next stitch, what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over, insert hook, We got three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop. We got four loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through all four and that is a bobble. Then we're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch, basically closing our bobble. And we're going to work this all the way around. So it's yarn over and in, yarn over and pull through, pull through two, yarn over, go back in the same stitch, pull through, pull through all four. Slip stitch in the next stitch. There's our next bobble. So we're going to keep working this all the way around. Yarn over, in, pull through two, yarn over, in, pull through, pull through all four, slip stitch in the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through, pull through two. Yarn over in, pull through, pull through all four and slip stitch. So you're just doing the stitch in every other one and you're slip stitching in every other one. But it's gonna create a nice little edging. Once you get the hang of the pattern, the pattern starts to go fairly easy. For me, it's just getting it started. And I just keep working all the way around and I kind of tuck my hat out a little bit just so I can see where I'm going and it makes working on the wrong side a little easier.
when you start getting to the end of that round, then you're going to connect to that uh, chain three that you did. And then you're going to fasten off. And then you'll weave in your ends. And for me, what I like to do is I like to tie these two strings together from where I joined that round. Just to make sure that it stays. And then I'll work on weaving those ends in in just a few minutes. But so far, we've got our hat. And that bobble stitch just creates a nice little edging on that hat. So now we're gonna create the hat loop. So the same color that you made the hat out of, in my case, it's this pretty blue. You're gonna chain 10 and basically just slip stitch it to the first chain to form a loop. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm gonna slip stitch it to our first chain. Just creating me a nice loop right here. And then we're gonna fasten that off. And I'll leave a long tail on this so I can sew it on. And I always tie a little knot right here, just because I don't want this loop to come unfastened. And we're gonna sew this loop to the top of our hat. So I'm gonna take my yarn needle. And I'm going to work on sewing this loop to the top of my hat. And when I'm done, I will work my needle back into the center of the hat. So I said, have my edges, have my ends. Pull that through. And snip that off. And then I had this end in the center of the hat as well.
So now I have my loop on the top of my hat. So we are gonna sew on our button. Let's see. I should have a button. I do not see a button in my bag. So um, your button is gonna go up approximately the middle of the hat um, or the middle of the hat, but approximately four and a half inches down from the tip top of your hat. Um, so my button would approximately go about right here so that when I fold over, there's enough room for my um, uh, stove handle to go through. Um, so you can measure it about four and a half inches you can also measure it with your stove, wherever you want it, but your button will go about right here. You'll just sew that on with regular needle and thread. Um, apparently I've lost my button in here. <laughs> um, but the next thing that we work on is our nose. And the nose is gonna be in a seamless round. So it's gonna be worked um, kind of like our hat was. We're not gonna join it any round. We're just gonna continue working around and around. And my nose is gonna be done out of the cream color today. So get my yarn here. So we're going to do a magic circle and we're going to do six single crochets into our magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're gonna pull that tight. It says to place a stitch marker in the first stitch made. That's up to you. I continue counting. Um, so I just start my count in the first stitch made. So I just keep working up. Um, if you need the stitch marker, you can continue moving the stitch marker up with each round, but I just continue counting. So we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So we'll have 12 stitches this next round. So I start with the first one and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So now I know I made it to the end of that round two. So now we're going to do one single crochet in the first three, and then two single crochet in the next one. So we're going to end up having 15. So I'm going to count one, two, three. Then I'm going to put two, so four and five. Then I'm going to do one in the next three, so six, seven, and eight. And the last one is nine and 10. All right, 11, 12, and 13. Last stitch in this round, 14 and 15.
So now I've got the start of my nose going. So round four, we're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch. So it's gonna be 15 rounds or 15 stitches, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So round five, what's gonna happen is we're gonna join some stitches together. So our nose is gonna start to um, close up. So you just saw me, it was kind of starting to cave in. I'm gonna turn it out to where I can work with the wrong side to the inside. Okay, so round five, we're gonna do one single crochet in the first three, and then we're gonna single crochet two together to the end to make it back down to 12. So one, two, three. Then we're gonna single crochet these next two together, which means going into the first one, pulling through, going into the second one, pulling through, and then pulling through all three. So that is number four, five, six, seven, single crochet these two together for number eight, nine, 10, 11, single crochet the last two together to make our 12th stitch. Okay, so now we've got our nose coming together. All right, so we can start stuffing our nose now, or you can wait. Um, I'm gonna wait just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna wait till about the half of this um, round. So this next round, we're gonna single crochet two together six times. Um, so one, Two, three, four. This is where I like to start stuffing. So I have four single crochets together. I got two more to go, but I'm gonna start stuffing my nose. And all the stuffing probably won't fit. I might. He'll have a big poofy nose today. That's not all gonna fit. So I'm gonna finish up my last two single crochets together. There's number five and there's number six. All right. Then I pull my yarn in through and we're gonna sew this yarn in through these right here to close up our circle. So I take my yarn needle at this point
I may have a little bit too much yarn left on my. And I'm gonna sew it up. Just make sure that my nose is shut. Just kind of closing him up. Now you've got your gnome nose. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to take um, a color of our original yarn. I'm just gonna end this off and I'm gonna in this through here. So I've got my nose. I'm gonna get some of my original color. Which for me today is the blue. I'm gonna take my hat. I'm gonna take my yarn needle. I'm gonna come to the inside front of the hat and I'm gonna find about center. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie on my yarn to the inside of the hat. And I'll weave in that end in just a little bit. And then I'm going to start sewing the nose to the inside of my hat. And that's why you want to use the color um, that matches the hat color because it's going to be coming out here to the front. So and you want to kind of sew it where he's going to stick out to the front. Wee. Sorry if I went off camera there. Kind of made my nose a little oblong because I'm fixing him. You just want to make sure he's secure. And I just kind of tie him off and weave him in to the inside of the hat. Whoops, there we go. And now we have our little gnome nose. Before I put my towel in, I'm gonna finish um, 
weaving in my ends, but then all you have to do is slide your towel through the ring, add your button and hang. And so that is your gnome towel holder finished. He will look like this. Thank you for joining us for the March Crochet Along with the Senior Center. Have a great day.